Hello guys, this is Jonathan Feist for Charge.io, and join me for a look through some of the drones that made it to CES 2017. One of the first companies we hung out with was Unique, sharing prominent floor location with DJI, showing off FPV headgear and more. They announced the new Typhoon H520, an orange quadcopter made for the commercial market. We also explored the Breeze and the Tornado 920 with the GH4 camera attached. They had an interesting autonomous flyer on hand as well, designed for in-home security and assistance services. The valet combines wireless charging with a very safe machine to check out noises in the dark. A big player, and certainly one of our favorites, DJI had a powerful presence at CES 2017. The Ronin drone and gimbal were on deck, along with the Chinese New Year version of the Phantom drone. The mighty Inspire drone was at the show, both the first version and the Inspire 2 we watched the launch of back in November. We just wish they could have flown it live for us, maybe next year. And of course, the Mavic. A half dozen of them graced a corner of the booth. Certainly one of our favorite drones. Stay tuned for more DJI coverage. We did a full booth tour and had a chat with their VP of policy. A local brand, at least for me, Autel came to the show with updates to cameras for their X-Star quadcopter. But first was their prototype airplane style drone made for vertical takeoff and winged flight. FLIR infrared and 360 cameras are upcoming options for your X-Star drone. Stay tuned for more info about Autel drones and technology. Intel didn't offer a massive drone flying experience as we've seen them pull off before, but they proved serious about flight technologies. The Shooting Star was around to check out, as was their racing design and larger commercial octocopter offering. Considering their real sense technology is being utilized by other manufacturers, we'll be keeping an eye on Intel moving forward. Star Wars. There was not much to see from Propel, but they had their selection of battle droids at the show. This was one of the busiest booths at the show, to be sure. Ehang had a few smaller drones on deck. Miniwing offered up a few options, and a handheld gimbal that they had chirping away. A booth called Stampede housed a good selection of drones from multiple manufacturers, including Aerialtronics, Xfold, and Freefly. Wakera enjoyed a quiet booth at the show. Their law enforcement inspired drone was fun to see with ambition to assist emergency services, but they are better known for their racing drones, more than a few of which were on deck. We had an amazing sit down with Hubson at CES 2017. They shared their passion for the sky and quality but affordable devices with me for over an hour. Announcing two new devices, the X4 Star Pro with FPV 720p camera and the H501A Air Pro, one of the highest quality and strongest built feeling drones we've seen from Hubson. Can't wait for them to hit the market. Next up is a lifestyle brand from China. GDU has announced version 2.0 of their Bird Premium drone, as well as some new camera mounts and cameras altogether. Zoom lenses and far greater flight range are on deck. Stay tuned for our update to our initial Bird Premium review for more details. That wraps it up for CES 2017. There were plenty of drones and other flying machines at the show. Many of the biggest and best were designed for various commercial applications. We'll explore them on Charge.io as we go, but they were not the sort you want to fly in your own backyard. Stay tuned for more CES 2017 coverage, including drones and more, here on Charge.io.